Hi guys and welcome back. I'm down Sydney Mines today. You can see I finally have the Femi Mini version 2. So we are going to start a screen recording right away now. We are now screen recording. We will go into the Femi Navi Mini app. It's the same app guys. Do you don't download a new app. Let's enter device. Now there aren't many changes to this drone. The changes are very small. It's the same drone body, no changes there whatsoever, except for the camera. And there's only a 0.1 of a difference in that camera, but that 0.1 makes a very big difference from what I've seen so far. So, okay, let's, uh, we have a firmware update. It's probably the no fly zone, so I'll skip that because we really want to get this review out of the way guys we've had high winds all week long and about another week of high winds coming today is the only half decent calm day which it is seven mile an hour winds with 15 mile an hour gusts so okay let's format the sd card and then let's check the camera parameters here we have it on 12 megapixel which is 4 by 3 so that's the difference in this you can't get it in 16 by 9 at 12 megapixel it has to be an 8 for 16 by 9 okay it's it's setting time to there we go 16 by 9 white balance is auto color is general metering mode is center leave our grid lines off and we have the quick parameters in auto so we'll put the video on here we do not have an hdr in this drone and we do not have a night mode but the camera well the ad anyway says that this camera lets in more light so i guess that's why they didn't add a night mode and uh, this camera supposedly looks good in the night so we're on video let's start recording I'm starting to shiver here guys I'm a little cold and we will auto take off so right off the bat you can see the drone come up and moved over a little bit but the wind is blowing this way guys so that's why it done that uh, okay kind of looked like it was toilet bowling but it isn't it was just moving side to side so yeah, that's one thing uh, Matt was telling me, his toilet bowled off a takeoff for a minute, which most Femis will do. You just leave them sit for a second or two and they will calm down. But uh, I've flown this one yesterday in 18 mile an hour winds, 18 mile an hour gusts, I should say. And it handled really well, guys. The camera looks much, much better than the version one and the colors actually look natural on this drone so let's take it up here see if we get that wind warning we shouldn't it's only 15 mile an hour gusts i can tell you from flying it yesterday i didn't really notice any jello and the version one was horrible for jello so we're up almost 50 meters here. I think we're gonna take it across the road and down the field over above the park there. Okay, that's 80 meters, guys. We're gonna go across. Actually, before I do so, I wanna check my speed setting. Okay, we're up to 60 meters per second. And we're going to turn sport mode on just to be sure. We have the precise landing on the drone indicator. Okay, we're good. Let's fly across here. We have no cars coming. I can tell you another thing that uh, Matt had problems with was it seemed like it had like a lag, but it was the connection, the transmission, I should say. We're 250 meters out, and I'm not experiencing any lag or anything. Actually looks good here on my FPV feed. The camera up a little bit. 
We'll go to about 400 meters or something, guys, and then we'll bring it back. We've got a seagull over there flocking around. Compass interfered, please fly carefully. Now, you will always get that with your Femi drones. That's 400 meters. We'll go to the 500. 480. Okay, you know, we just had gimbal drop from pushing forward on the stick. Now the last Femi version one, the mini version one had that same issue. You would experience gimbal drop. Just looking around here, guys. Just give a scan around, you see that seagull going. We're gonna get back this way before he uh, comes around at us. We're now heading back. What I do like is that they put that home point in there on the screen now. So you can always tell which direction the home point is. You guys can see where I'm at. I'm at that ball field. Well, multiple ball fields. We'll cross now. There's no traffic coming. The other thing Matt had a problem with was his battery. His battery percentage went from 70% down to 30 very, very fast, and the drone uh, lost all power and landed on him. Now, I haven't experienced that yet. My battery's are now reading 82%. It was 100 when I started here, guys, but it's only on its second charge. And these batteries are more milliamps per hour than the last ones for the version one. So we'll give a quick flight down this way now. I'm actually gonna turn you guys around so I can see this drone. That's about far enough. We don't wanna go into those houses. Let's put the camera up a little bit. The horizon seems okay. So we're heading back. Uh, connection is good, guys. I've got full white bars. Now what I want to try is the return to home. So we'll leave it where it's at and we will hit return to home. There we go. And I believe I have that turned on where it's gonna look for the drone. Yes, precise landing is on. Sorry, where it's going to look for the pad, not look for the drone. So we're just about above us now. You can see I have that uh, helipad on the cement here in front of me. Drone is slowly coming down. Now I can tell you guys this is made of the exact same plastic as the last version. So I would highly suggest to buy a set of that landing gear, the skis that attach to the body, so that your legs are never, never ever going to touch that ground when you land. Because my last version, you guys seen what happened, the leg cracked and I, I did nothing to crack that drone guys. That's been sitting on my shelf for months. The last time I went to take it out, I noticed the arm was hanging off of it. So it's detected the landing pad. And let's see how close it comes here, if it lands exactly on that pad. There we go. That uh, looks like it's gonna be bang on, guys. And it is. So it moved over slightly as it hit the pad, but it was dead center. So okay, let's take off again with it here. I can't, it's telling me compass interfered. Please change takeoff point or calibrate. Okay, so that's something I wanted to check anyway. Let's see if we can calibrate the compass because 
The Every other Femi drone I've had would not take a compass calibration unless I did the figure eight movement with it. So, it's telling me this direction. Let's just see if this will calibrate. Okay, I took it that one. Let's do this way now. The vertical. Please take a, yes. It, no, calibration failed. Wow, okay guys, so let's try the figure eight movement. This is how I had to do the others. It just passed the first. And... There we go, it passed. And the gimbal is going crazy. Okay, so we're gonna power the drone off. The drone is powered off, there we go. Okay, so let's reboot. So you guys can see, mine will not take a compass calibration the correct way. I have to do that figure eight movement. Which you shouldn't have to do, guys. You can see how crazy that drone went. Okay, it just reconnected. Camera just recentered. There we go. Cannot take off. It's in the Addy mode. It's just gaining enough satellites. We have 10, 11. There we go. And it still won't let me, uh, won't allow me to take off. Okay, there it is. So let's take off. There we go. So not bad. No toilet bowl bring it over closer now I can tell you guys Matt showed me his in a hover and his is not stable his shakes all over the place so I'll just get it in one spot here now you can see the wind is moving it but there now it's nice and stable so it's much more stable than his is so let's do a little droney here, reversing up. We're down to 68% battery. Oh, wow, well, okay, uh, we have to start filming. <laughs> Luckily, I have a screen recording going, guys, because I do forget that sometimes. Now coming back towards us. And what I do want to test here, which I've tested yesterday, is the tracking mode. But before I do so, I'm just going to tell you guys a little bit here. I have everything wrote down. So the version one, the batteries, you can get 30 to 31 minutes flight time. And this new version two is 31 to 37 minutes. Now there are two different batteries, the Pro and the other. So that's where you get those two different flight times. So all camera specs on both drones are exactly the same except for the CMOS sensor, which in the version one, it's a one over 2.6. And this one is one over 2.5. So you only get that point one of a difference, guys, but it's a big difference in the camera on this one between the other. This one looks much better. So the first version has smart tracking, which does not work at all. I know on my version it doesn't anyway. Uh, the last time I've tested it, it would lose me every two seconds. As soon as I start to move away, that drone would lose target, would not keep a lock. This one actually works good and I'll show you guys that in a second. Now it supposedly has a T2 AI computing with smart tracking. So we also have two new shooting modes on this drone which I haven't seen yet so they'll probably be released in future firmware 
which the two modes are vertical shooting and drifting. But like I said, I haven't seen them yet. So we'll turn the camera this way. I'm gonna walk down this way with the drone. I'm gonna set it to track first, guys. So we'll go in the options, smart track. We will hit trace and we'll drag over me and we'll hit go and we'll walk away okay i think this is the one where the drone just stays still it doesn't move yes okay so we're going to end that one oh wait now i didn't hit go no i did hit go okay so we'll exit that one and we'll go back in smart track we'll hit profile we'll select me and we'll hit go now we'll walk away okay i'm not sure am i not high enough or is the drone is following me but it's staying still Okay, so we'll exit that one. Now, I tried this yesterday and it worked great. Smart track. I just tried trace. Let's try it again. Hit me and hit go. Let's try and walk away. Okay, I think the drone is moving. Can't really tell. Yes, the drone is now moving. It's following. So it's trace you want to click on. Just want to watch these trees. We've got a couple of trees here. So you guys can see, let's go towards the drone, see is it going to lose me here? And no, it backs up right away. So the tracking on this drone is a million times better than the version 1, guys. We will end that. Get the drone up. I can say that it is much, much better than the version 1. I know this review is starting to get long. We've been filming for 17 minutes now. But like I said, the other two new ones aren't in the menu here yet. We have Waypoint, Smart Track, Tap to Fly, Orbit, Spiral, Cinematic Mode, tri Tripod Mode, course lock fixed wing and search and rescue now i did have a problem yesterday zooming and there i have that issue again so we'll take it off of there i think you have to enable it in the menu now like i said though guys this is going to need some firmware and i can't seem to find that zoom in the menu here i seen it yesterday and then when I went to, there it is, video zoom. Turn that on, or I can't turn it on. It's not allowing me. Probably because I'm filming. So let's stop filming. Now let's go in, camera options, video zoom, yes. Turn it on, okay. Now it says it will uh, decrease down to 25 frames per second. So let's start filming. And let's now turn on search and rescue. And let's zoom. There we go. Now it's working. So be wary of that. You have to enable it in the menu before it will actually zoom correctly or it's just going to flicker and go crazy. But it actually works. So hopefully they... Uh, do some firmware updating to this and hopefully they don't go messing with the camera guys because it absolutely looks great on mine right now and hopefully we don't have any bit of video flutter or jello now like i said i didn't see any jello yesterday but it seemed like there was a little bit of flutter in the video but we'll see how it is when i get home to edit this so let's just pull a little uh, circle me here. 
climb an altitude while we're circling around. We're up to 90 meters, 100. We're gonna stay right there. The drone has reached max I'm at altitude. Max altitude, 120 meters. Well, wow, climb. It climbed really quick from 100 to 120. We're starting to bring it down. And we'll head back over to me and we will end this, guys. So let's exit search and rescue. I'll give it one more return to home. And it's returning. So we'll see if it hits that pad the second time. And uh, we'll call it a day here. over in this corner coming back so not bad so far I would say it's worth update upgrading from version 1 to version 2 for how good the camera looks on this and it is a, a pretty big drastic improvement from the last version guys the coloring on the last one was absolutely horrible with way too much blue this one actually looks really natural so yeah, we're coming down, and I've got 38% battery left, so just enough to pop it back up and get a thumbnail pick. Um, actually, I'll probably get a thumbnail holding the drone or something. So, okay, guys, I hope you enjoyed today's review. Uh, this was the fastest shipping drone I've ever got from AliExpress. Took roughly two weeks, and I know a few reviewers that still haven't received theirs yet. Now, my buddy Matt was the very first one to get it and the first one to put a review up on YouTube. So, like I said, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing. Leave a like and a comment. Everything helps the channel grow, which it's slowly climbing. Don't forget to turn those notifications on. And uh, I guess peace out. We'll catch you guys in the next one and right on the pad. Later, guys.